The modern day bathing suit or swimsuit, depending on where you're from, is a far cry from what women wore at the turn of the 20th century. The outfit of choice around 1900, a seaside walking dress, which looked exactly how it sounds. But that didn't last too long. In 1907, the Australian woman who created synchronized swimming, Annette Kellerman, was arrested for indecency. Why? Well, she wore a one-piece suit to the beach near Boston. That one piece had no buttons or collar, but covered all the way up. It wasn't embraced by the fashion industry, at least not yet. But the trend did shift to a more sailor-inspired suit. We're talking about Turkish-style bloomers made out of flannel. Wow, that's hot, literally. By 1916, the Jansen collection of figure-hugging suits were the big thing in beach wear. It had shorter shorts and cutouts, so scandalous. Jansen changed the name from bathing suit to swimming suit to justify its more revealing style. A few years later, women were getting arrested for wearing one-piece suits without covering their legs. The 1930s brought even more form-fitting styles, new stretchy materials, and of course, more revealing options. But it was on a hot summer day in 1946 when French designer Louis Rayard released what we now know as the bikini. It was worn by French model and showgirl Micheline Bernardini and described as revealing everything about a girl except her mother's maiden name. Rayard says he got the name from a U.S. atomic test of all things on Bikini Atoll. 